Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to discuss the laboratory preparation of oxygen gas. Oxygen gas is a colorless, odorless gas and it is slightly soluble on water. Therefore, it is corrected over water. So oxygen gas is prepared using hydrogen peroxide and manganese 4 oxide. So hydrogen peroxide is Hydrogen peroxide is like water that has excess oxygen and therefore in presence of manganese 4 oxide which is a catalyst it decomposes to give oxygen plus water. Another method of preparation of oxygen gas is adding water to sodium peroxide. So sodium peroxide plus water gives you sodium hydroxide plus oxygen gas. Oxygen gas can also be uh, prepared by heating potassium manganate 7 or potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate, when you decompose it, then it is going to decompose to give potassium manganate 6, manganese 4 oxide and oxygen gas. So oxygen gas is tested in the laboratory by use of a burning splint. We say that oxygen gas, the chemical test for oxygen gas is that it rewrites a burning, uh, it rewrites a glowing splint. So when you write your splint, then put it uh, in a jar that has oxygen gas. Then the gas is likely to, uh, to rewrite that glowing splint and then it will produce uh, fire. Oxygen, okay, what is a catalyst like manganese for oxide? A catalyst is a substance that speeds up the rate of reaction but itself is not consumed. So oxygen gas has another property that it, it has low boiling point of about negative 183 degrees Celsius. Reaction of oxygen gas in air or how do substances burn in air in presence of oxygen gas so if you burn metals for example sodium metal in presence of oxygen then it is going to give you sodium oxide sodium plus oxygen to give you sodium oxide calcium metal plus oxygen is going to give you calcium oxide magnesium plus oxygen is giving going to give you magnesium oxide Iron plus oxygen, it gives you iron two, iron three oxide. Calcium also burns with in oxygen with a red glaring frame, and it gives you a white solid which is calcium oxide. Calcium nitride uh, or calcium oxide is slightly soluble in water and evolves a gas that turns red rhythmus blue. Magnesium burns in oxygen with a white glaring frame to give you magnesium oxide or magnesium nitride and of course it is slightly soluble in water and also gives an alkaline gas that turns red rhythmus blue. Iron does not burn in oxygen but it glows red so forming a red brown solid which is iron 3 oxide. It is insoluble and therefore it has no effect on litmus paper. Copper burns, uh, does not, uh, burns with a blue flame in oxygen gas to form black copper 2 oxide solid. And that black copper 2 oxide is insoluble and therefore it has no effect on litmus paper. 